guys, it's Serena from Pretty Well Things and today I'm doing a bit of a weird one. Weird one? Hi guys, it's Serena from Pretty Well Things and today I'm doing a bit of a weird gift guide. I'm doing a gift guide all for dogs. So, as you know, I have a dog. He's going to be one years old on the 12th of December and I am one of those people who wants to buy things for their pets. My mom and Ian don't really get it. My dad thinks it's a bit weird as well, buying a present for your pet. But if you're like me, they're one of the family and you want to get them something. I love buying him things and just seeing him, um, he gets so excited. And because he's a puggle, he destroys things within minutes. So you have to kind of keep up the uh, toy rotor. So this Christmas, uh, I have quite a few things to show you and I'm just gonna jump in. So the first one is a doggy um, selection box. Um, and this comes with turkey and cranberry flavour bones, chocolate drops, um, yuletide yummies, which I'm not sure what they are, probably just like little treats, and then some munchy rolls. And I just, this was a really cool idea. We always used to get selection boxes like every year from Santa, and I thought it would be nice to get a Puka one. I got this from B&M, it was about $2.99, um, and it's by the Armitage Good Boy brand, which are really good for toys and things. And you'll see pretty much everything is by, I think everything that I have to show you is by um, Armitage Good Boy. So um, they also do a whole range for cats if you have a cat. So check that out. You can get most of these in your supermarket, but I'll leave links below to where you can buy everything from. So yes, a doggy selection box. The only one I'm not too sure about is the chocolate drops because... Um, we have a lot of chocolate in this house and I don't want him to get any ideas when he sees like our chocolate and tries to eat it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Next is something very funny and it is an advent calendar. I just thought this was so just very weird for dogs to get them an advent calendar, but I'm gonna love giving him these every day and put it alongside mine and hopefully you don't get the two mixed up. I'm not sure what's inside it I think oh on the back it says a dog advent calendar with delicious chocolate treats behind every door so he's gonna have one little chocolate treat every day up until the 24th I think so um, a doggy advent calendar and again this is like really cheap you can pick these up in Tesco and that's my Armitage good boy as well in the past couple of years I have loved Christmas not only because I like getting gifts but I've really loved giving my gifts to other people and watching their faces they like unwrap them and just seeing how they react because I've been trying to put a lot of thought into gifts in the past few years as I've got older and that's just kind of what happens when you get older you prefer giving gifts than getting them and this year is going to be very interesting so I thought it would only be fair to get Puka something that he could have on Christmas Day and also this will keep him busy while we're all uh, unwrapping presents because he's gonna go mad for the wrapping paper so it's a doggy stocking how amazing is that you can write to and from on it as if your dog can read and um, yeah you've got turkey and cranberry flavor bones which I know he loves turkey and cranberry flavor and um, there's some chocolate drops there a squidgy bone thing and then a chewy um, Christmas tree shape Hopefully you can see that in there. Yeah, gonna hang this up <laughs> near the tree and give him this, probably give him the Christmas tree while we're trying to unwrap presents and things. So, I know I'm starting to look like a mad dog woman, but if you love your dog, and not just I love my dog, you will understand the need to buy these. <laughs> okay, this one I know is gonna be destroyed within minutes, and I mean like two minutes, but it's so cute. It's a little meerkat teddy, um, dressed as Santa. It's got a squeak in it and it is so, he loves this soft material because he just likes like chewing on material. And this is gonna be ripped apart within minutes. So definitely be gonna be keeping an eye on him while he's uh, playing with this, but it's just so cute. And I'm resisting the urge to wrap things up because I really don't need to, he's a dog. But look at it, it's so cute. And the very last thing that I got is a Christmas pig. It's a pig with a Christmas hat on and a scarf. This rubber material lasts slightly longer than soft toys like that because you can't rip it as easily. But it sounds like a pig. It actually oinks. So 
Usually we kind of stay away from toys that look this novelty. We just kind of go for bones and um, toys. Fat Cat Ink is amazing for dog toys if your dog um, likes to rip things apart. Um, those are really like hardly made and you can't rip into them very easily. So this one will be interesting. <coughs> there might be a lot of onking going on around Christmas and you can either, there's like a hole here where the noise comes out but I think I might stuff some treats in there and that'll occupy him. So that's the last thing that I've got him. There is actually something downstairs that I forgot to go and get and it's just um, this box of star-shaped turkey and cranberry treats and inside it is like a little special gift which is like a um, plastic bone. Not plastic but the kind of plastic, I don't know how to describe it. It's a dog bone inside it so I've got that as well. There's a lot of things going Pooka's way this Christmas. Um, but if you've never thought of getting your dog something, get them just a little tiny, just a little tiny gift, just to show you all love and appreciation this Christmas. And um, I'll also leave a link below to some dog charities that you can um, donate to if you are feeling charitable this Christmas, because there are a lot of dogs that don't have homes that could do with a little bit of help and love this Christmas. So I'll leave a link to that below as well. Um, yes, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. <coughs> And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <coughs> Do you like my earrings? They flash. Little Christmas puddings. And I wear my Merry Christmas, you filthy animal jumper.